let's take a look at how to build this section. Or if you've already built it, let's see if we took the same steps to achieve our end result. First thing, let's change the logo from this default one to the logo we uploaded to our site files. Let's set up our site styles now to save time and keep things consistent throughout the design process. First up is topography. For our heading one, let's use the font Wix made for display and make the text size 130. We can also set the color here. Then give heading two the same font, but make the default size 50 and change its color. And we will customize each heading the same way. For paragraph one, use that same font. Make the size 18 and change the color to dark gray, same as before. And let's do the same for paragraph two, but change the text size to 16. Now let's set our color style. We can leave the background and text color as is, but let's set the action colors to gray by clicking on this pencil icon and entering a new hex code here. And now the entire range will be updated to match it. But we can choose more colors for our palette. Make these light purple, a darker purple, and turquoise. Now it's time to design this section itself. To add a bit more height here, we can just drag it like this. Now click on the section and give it a gradient background. Choose a linear gradient. We want the background to include those three colors we picked. So first, we'll adjust the right one to the darker purple, the left one to the turquoise, and this last one to the lighter purple. And let's add a bit of opacity to that purple we added. Now adjust the angle a bit like this. Next, onto the elements. Drag a title from the add panel onto the canvas. Then in the inspector, use the heading one theme we set up. Change its text. Let's also adjust this bounding box so we'll have one word on each line and change the line spacing. Now let's add our transparent video. In the add panel, head into media and choose more transparent videos. Search for drone and choose this one. We can make it a bit bigger and place it here. If we want it to rotate a bit, we can adjust the rotation here to 10 degrees. You can see that the bounding box of the transparent video is overflowing a bit outside the section. So make sure your entire page is set to overflow content hide, which will prevent any unwanted scroll. The last thing we'll add to this section is that arrow icon. Let's drag that from our library onto the canvas and align it to the bottom center of our section. We want this arrow to stay the same size as the screen when it's resized, so it won't scale when we move across breakpoints. So its responsive behavior should be fixed. Now let's preview it all together. The design looks good as we resize the screen, but the section is a bit small on mobile. So let's change up our design a bit. Let's adjust the section's height and change up the position of these elements. Let's move our text box to the center, make the text a bit bigger by dragging this corner, align the text itself to the center, move the arrow towards the bottom and position the drone underneath the title. Now, when we preview it again, we'll see those changes on mobile didn't affect the higher breakpoints and the design looks good. And that's it for your first challenge. In our next module, we'll cover some of the layout tools you can use to customize your pages even more, starting with positioning and docking. I'll meet you there.